is Nairobi News Extra. I am Sylvania Ambani. We have a very interesting lineup of stories today, but before we get to that, I'm just loving this Nairobi weather. How are you guys finding it? I'm loving it. Like after it's all so the amazing, heat. amazing, I know. <sighs> it's amazing. It's, yeah, it's cool. Kevin, my bachelor cool. won't get one. I'm getting for the bullet. We have no comment. What am I saying? I hate rain. Why? It kills my moods. Oh no. Really? I'm loving this weather. It's, it's so, so amazing. Cool. Yes. If only it could stay like this, I, know, I love it. Like Without all the wetness Enough and of the rain, let's move on. I know you like rain, let's move on. It's I, my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. okay. First okay. on the list, uh, a study has been done in uh, the University of Greenwich, which says that drinking beer is, uh, is better for pain relief than painkillers, than actual painkillers. Now, this information in this beer drinking country, <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this is not a beer drinking country. <laughs> we are a working You make nation. it look like we only drink beer in this country. Okay, this alcohol drinking country. Even worse. Mm, no, we are a working nation. We don't drink. Thank you. Yeah. We don't drink. Yeah. Okay. We drink just the past time. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what, what does this, what do you think this thing, this study has an, an impact on the society? We right are going now? to what get kind of drunk like have? hell. So that we can relieve ourselves of these headaches we have, this joint ex it's any type of uh, yes, pain. Yes, because even they were, the, the study was done on people who were suffering from arthritis and uh, those who were suffering in different ailments. And uh, they actually said when they drink it's alcohol, better. it's better, which is understandable. But what happens to the hangover? I mean, when you get hangover and then you get the headache again, do you drink more beer what, to what are cure it or what? <laughs> like how 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 is this people help? People are being given a free, being given a free list to drink. I know, but like yeah, but then say, I'm asking, when you have a when you, have a, yes. when you drink, you're trying to cure something, mm -hmm. and you drink. Let's say you end up over drinking and you get a hangover and you get a headache. headache. So are you gonna drink to Another relieve beer? that pain? I think. That or the what do you do? Actually, reaches to that point is when you drink excessively. Uh, there's a certain. So how much should you drink to relieve your pain then? A there. bottle top. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> how much should it be? Because I mean, if you just say it openly that beer cures pain, then how much beer should you be taking? Two bottles, three bottles. You know, everyone's I, I think tolerance personally, is I think uh, beer doesn't cure any pain. It just impairs your your system so that it's <laughs> not able to happening. coordinate itself. So That's why you are it cannot really understand what is happening. So when when someone is talking about beer taking away your pain, it it doesn't really make sense. But I think, I remember someone told me Guinness <laughs> helps in relieving pain. I know, haven't you? That's what I have heard those of. Situations I don't know how true people, it is. I, yes, exactly. I don't know how true that is also. There's those situations where they say, stop looking at me like that. Yeah. Like that, and I don't. I wonder if you can <laughs> According to an earlier report by The Sun, they said um, a separate study found that moderate drinking, not excessive, can reduce the chances of having a heart attack by a third. Yeah, I've heard of that, but drinking wine, right? Mm -hmm. Not drinking just any type of alcohol. But wine is also alcohol. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because mm -hmm. in your statement you've said drinking alcohol, but I'm saying that's specific to drinking wine. Yes. Wine is said to cure heart conditions yes. and things like that. Mm -hmm. I've heard that before. Okay. I don't know how true that is, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about the rest. It's of amazing how people don't know how true some things are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> talking about them, I'm not <laughs> no, no, and we read these things, we read them, but we don't know if it's true because it says one glass of wine. Maybe I don't know, is it a day or a week? It's good for your health. Like you know, we I don't the know. The whole police have been sent here. They work with the team. Anyway. <laughs> You don't know. We'll see how it goes. I think we should just try one day when one of us has. You a can headache. try for us and tell us. Let me see if I have a headache. No. Yeah. When I have a headache, I will try. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Silvana, maybe you'll try for us and tell All us I'm the saying results. Is are. Now, there's a doctor's explanation as to why. Yeah, but then we, I should we need twice. someone. Yes. Yeah, we need proof. We just don't go with someone test someone it out and tell the rest of us if it actually works. Come on. It's like someone says there's a cure for HIV and we have not seen any proof of that. I do not believe that. 
we need evidence. Okay. We work. Kevin? Africa and say yes, sing you're too quiet on this topic. Because first I don't take alcohol, so I don't know how alcohol You don't have to take works, alcohol to but understand what she's saying. <laughs> it's <laughs> me talking. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> if really alcohol was to, to cure pain, then with all these generations that have been taking alcohol then I think we we should have seen something different. But correct me if I'm wrong. I remember in a medieval time in the uh, 18th or 17th century, they never used to have this anesthesia to actually knock someone off so that they can do an operation. They use what they used to do is give someone alcohol so that the pain you is black not out. <laughs> you black out. No, I agree with you. So you black out. <laughs> black out. You know black out. out. <laughs> yeah. 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 To myself, to yeah, they pain. don't so, know. It's for yeah, you to, to black the out no. because. You you you're thinking normally when you take alcohol your your thinking is impaired. You cannot know. think straight. This so, person is not going to operate a machine. It's not about thinking. It's about I'm te- I'm telling you an example of what these doctors used to use during those times. They used to use alcohol. That is why and I want to, to explain to you why scientifically. They use alcohol. You know you know how the neural system works. That is the brain, Biology. the spinal cord and stuff, <laughs> how it coordinates the body. Okay. That when you impair the neural system, it means that it cannot be able to coordinate itself. That is why people can run into a, a, a pole of electricity yes. while driving because they are under influence of alcohol, because they see a smooth uh, path. path ahead or road. So. When you take alcohol, it does not really mean that you've lost the pain. It means that uh, the brain has lost uh, its network to coordinate <laughs> itself. So it cannot really sense that there is pain in, in, in your this, hand yeah. or in your leg. Yeah, but it, that does not mean that it takes it away. Uh, you, uh, that's why people, people who have heart, heart aches and whatever, they go for alcohol to relieve the pain. To to the pain and yeah. it all goes away. And then, <laughs> then you wake up the next day. The still pain there. is still there. <laughs> still there. Yeah. So maybe that's how it works. Okay, we need to, to find out uh, uh, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, books these guys were looking into when they were actually doing this study. <laughs>